My name is James Clift. I'm from Utah. I'm Lucas Hiltz from the Rhode Island delegation. Hi, my name is Kate Kurlicki, and I'm from Nevada. I'm a part of the Ambassador delegation. Lucas Bigford from the Ambassador delegation. My name is Margo Fontaine, and I'm from Rhode Island. My name is Cole McCubbins. I live in the beautiful state of Utah, and I'm part of the Ambassador delegation this year. My first con has been an interesting experience. It's been very rewarding and I've loved every second of it. So my experience at Kona, it's been really awesome. It's been just wonderful, all the new environment. It's great to meet everybody, all people from different states. So far the Kona experience for me has been unbelievable. And my Kona experience so far has been fantastic. My favorite thing about Kona experience so far is that I've been able to interact with so many diverse individuals from all over the country. I'm learning a lot. Uh, I've met people from new religions, people from new states, people from new mindsets. I'm really impressed with all the students here, their proposals, their debate. It's just at a totally different level and I really respect that. Well, how many things in my life have I not seen and not experienced that I'm experiencing here? Where I come from in Utah, it's kind of a bubble and I don't see many different views. There's not, we don't have as many social issues. Everyone's so welcoming and everyone's just so nice and it's been such a great experience. Uh, something that I have experienced that was brand new to me, actually the other day walking just up to Eureka Hall, saw a little light flash in front of me and I had no idea what it was and it was like, oh, that's fireflies. I had never seen fireflies in my entire life. So the beginning of second committee I wasn't speaking very much and then eventually I did end up answering one thing, going up and doing a pro and everyone was really supportive of me and encouraging and so I started to get my voice back, I started to speak again. And at the end of the day yesterday, it was just, I was in such a different place than I was on the first day. It's really opened my eyes coming here at Kona to see all the different problems that actual people in this country face. I've met so many awesome people and heard so many cool stories. And so just to come here and hear about different people's experiences and their lives has been really cool. And that's been a really awesome experience for me. And on the first day, I was in such a different place than I was on the day before that and it was unbelievable how much Kona could change me in the first two days and now here in my third day I'm continuing to change, continuing to make new friends and say new things and learn new perspectives. And I've learned so much this week and it's just honestly just awesome to be here. Uh, in Utah we're working to establish a youth and government program just started up about two months ago. We've got one building, about 10 members, so I'm really excited to get that started in my state. Um, I would love for this program to be um, promoted back in Nevada. I know there's some whys down in the south and I think this is a fantastic program that includes a lot more people and the opportunity to come to Kona is a once in a lifetime experience. When I go back to Utah, I'm, I already graduated but I hope to be able to stay in touch with the YMCA. Um, after Kona, because it's been such a great experience, I definitely want to bring it back. I'm actually working on making a trailer for the Kona Ambassadors delegation from this year and bringing that back to my states and helping Derek Somerville get new states involved in Kona. And I'm planning on helping try and start a youth and government program back in Rhode Island because we don't have one. So I hope to help out however I can because I really think this is a great opportunity for anyone who is interested in anything like this.